2017 Nissan NV3500 HD High Roof. There are fewer and fewer areas in the automotive space where naturally aspirated V8 engines can be found. Muscle cars, although experimenting with forced induction, remain one holdout, but utility vehicles such as pickups and SUVs are largely responsible for carrying the 8-cylinder torch. It's even more rare to see that source of power hitched solely to the rear wheels, but that's exactly the setup found in the Nissan NV3500 HD high roof cargo van. Unfortunately, it's not just the source of propulsion but also the driving experience and design of the NV cargo van that are old school. Engine Upgrade The large, Mississippi-built NV vans have been using V8 power since they debuted for 2012, but Nissan replaced the previous VK56 to engine with the more modern VK56 VD Endurance V8 for the 2017 model year. Although the old 5.6-liter was rated at 317 horsepower and 385 pounds to foot of torque, the 3500's new standard powertrain touts 375 ponies and 387 pounds to foot, despite having the same displacement as the unit it replaces. Whereas the outgoing engine used port fuel injection, the Endurance V8, which is also found in the Titan pickup and the Armada SUV, employs direct injection. It also features variable valve timing, a new piston design, and a multi-control valve that takes the place of a conventional thermostat. The result is an engine with extra power and greater refinement. The new 5.6-liter is the sole engine offering for the NV3500, the NV1500 uses Nissan's 4.0-liter V6 with 261 horsepower, while the NV2500 comes standard with the 6 and offers the V8 as an option. Along with the engine swap. Nissan binned the NV cargo van's 5-speed automatic transmission in favor of a 7-speed unit programmed, surprisingly, for rev-match downshifts. The updates are most welcome, as a vehicle this large needs all the push it can get. At 6,316 pounds, the 3,500 HR is hundreds of pounds heavier than its competitors. All that mass takes a toll on fuel economy, as evidenced by our 11 mile per gallon average. Also, the NV3500 managed only 15 miles per gallon on our 75 mile per hour highway fuel economy run. Braking, too, was a sore spot, as the big van required 210 feet to stop from 70 miles per hour, and that's unladen. Work vans don't need to be fast, but they're less intimidating to drive, and more fun, when they can move quickly. This Nissan smoothly hustled from 0 to 60 miles per hour in an impressive 7.5 seconds, accompanied by a rumbling V8 soundtrack. That's not quite as quick as the Ford Transit 350 EcoBoost, which managed a sub-7 second time, but it makes this big van easier to maneuver in fast-moving traffic with snappy throttle response for easy passing. It's still a beast to wield around town, though. Our test example had solid panel, windowless, rear doors and therefore no rear view mirror, which means your peepers get a workout from constantly darting left and right to check the side view mirrors. This van would benefit greatly from Nissan's camera feed rear view monitor, which is offered on the Armada. As you might guess from its front-end styling, Nissan's NV cargo van is based on the previous generation Titan pickup truck. It uses body-on-frame construction, which is becoming increasingly rare in the cargo van segment. The only others are the Chevrolet Express and GMC Savannah Twins, although those two do not offer a high roof option. The Ram Pro Master, Transit, and Mercedes-Benz Sprinter are all unibody designs. The NV's ride quality, road manners, and steering trail those competitors, particularly the Transit, which boasts nearly car-like reflexes. The NV uses hydraulically assisted recirculating ball steering and rides on a control arm front suspension with coil springs and a leaf spring live axle with twin tube dampers in the rear. We didn't load up the van, 
but with an empty cargo bay, it sounded and felt like exactly what it is, an empty metal box. The ride is jumpy, especially at the back, and the steering is light and slow, requiring undue attention to precisely guide the van down its intended path. Creaking is ever-present, and each kicked-up piece of road confetti is announced in the hollow echo chamber. Space Case the other high-roof vans have pretty similar dimensions to the NV3500, with its 240.6-inch length, 79.9-inch width, and 106.0-inch height. The Transit's high roof is a little taller, at 110.1 inches, Ford also offers a 100.7-inch medium roof option. The ram sits lower than the rest of the vans, so its load floor height is the best of the bunch at only 21.0 inches off the ground, while the Envy's cargo floor sits at 28.5 inches and its bumper step at 20.9 inches. The upside for the Envy, however, is SUV-like ground clearance of 8.1 inches. But the real test for cargo vans is, of course, cargo capacity, and the NV doesn't fare too well against its competitors. Keep in mind that these vans all have extended length versions for more space, but the NV comes in on the low end at 323 cubic feet. The NV's interior is functional but not superior in any way. It's a stark environment full of hard surfaces. But it is a work vehicle, so we can't harp on it too much for not having anything nice on the inside. Hard surfaces are easy to clean and are more resistant to wear. There are large roof-mounted cubby compartments above the cabin, the locking center console has a flat, clipboard-sized top that can slide forward, the inside of the console is equipped for a hanging filing system and has a power outlet, there's a sliding storage tray under the driver's seat, and the folding passenger seat can collapse to create an additional flat workspace. The cargo area includes 12 mounting points on the floor and 24 on the body sides for customization, while the floor also has 60 ring hooks for easily strapping things down.